All right, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It's the Earth Master back here on the live stream. Live stream is up and running. It went down this morning uh, suspiciously around a weird number. I've had this number kick up a couple times when the live stream goes down at 3.33 a.m. Goodness, it's happened quite a bit. Why it ended on 3.33, I don't know, but it's been coming up uh, quite a bit here. Just kind of odd. All right, today is, uh, what do we got, Tuesday, December 12th, 2023, about 12.30 p.m. California time, a uh, 1.2 earthquake looks to be the latest here on the map. Uh, let's see, This, although it looks like a, a little bit more active here across this model, uh, including Northern California, a little earthquake up here around Lake Almanor, 2.1 coming in here in the last hour. Uh, Southern California lighting up here slightly as well. Nothing major across the San Andreas Fault for now. Just a little bit of uh, movement here near the uh, Octillo Wells area. Looks like a handful of smaller microquakes, although there's a 2.8 in there as well, uh, occurring about an hour or so ago. So continuing to watch Southern California. It's been somewhat elevated in terms of uh, earthquake activity. Nothing big yet, but still a little bit of uptick going on even into today. Uh, up into the Pacific Northwest, uh, relatively smaller earthquake activity, nothing major to speak about there in Yellowstone National Park. Well, looks like a couple of those from yesterday, maybe one from, well, maybe one from today. Let's see what we got going on here at Yellowstone as I pull up the overview here of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, there is, well, there's a couple smaller earthquakes here, very localized, it looks like, to this seismograph station. Notice these little spikes showing up there on the chart uh those bigger type events not for sure what those are those may be some local nearby geysers i'm not for sure uh, but it doesn't look like earthquake activity it's really not showing up on any of the nearby uh, seismograph stations as uh, far as those two little um readings go but aside from that looks like yellowstone national park just a, i'm sure a beautiful day up there a little bit of earthquake activity but nothing major going on uh, same for the rest of the country for the most part. Texas still getting some activity down here in the Pecos, Texas area. Quite a few twos and ones out there in the oil fields. And then we got one little lonesome earthquake up here in New York, near Canton. 2.8 coming in. Uh, that's from yesterday. All right, so anything major going on overnight? Um, haven't really seen too much activity. We're noticing a little bit of movement upstream here across the Tonga Trench uh, in the last 24 hours, including the last earthquake here. Relatively shallow uh, there around the Tonga Trench uh, subduction zone itself. A lot of times we'll see this deeper movement taking place down here in the into the uh, underneath this area, the subduction zone. And then if there's enough stress, we do notice uh, that... Um, earthquake activity kind of going upstream so to speak most of the deep activity occurs within this little horseshoe region like we've seen yesterday these three earthquakes um pretty deep 400 500 kilometers deep sometimes they can get deeper in here so uh but it looks like we're no noticing a little bit more uh, strain building up here around this uh, subduction zone interface area where this plate boundary begins you can see where it starts right here across this region uh, down south into New Zealand, that area was kicking up yesterday. Uh, today, it looks like still seeing some threes out here across the area of uh, the plate boundary. Nothing big showing up there on the models yet. Uh, still seeing quite a bit of clustering going on here across the Indonesia Islands area and the Philippines getting in on some further movement. Although, uh, you know, the numbers are getting smaller in terms of the multitude of quakes out here, but occasionally... We still get these five pointers shaking things up out here following that 7.6 that kicked up there uh, over a week or so ago now. But uh, fours and fives are the magic number out there in the aftershock department there across the Philippines. Not a whole lot going on through the uh, Kuro Kamachaka or the Japan area today. Uh, pretty quiet. Well, actually, let's take that back. I didn't even see this one way up there. This is deep too. Notice these rings going away off the globe. There's at least one going, uh, one earthquake up here that's into the Sea of Osk area. Now, that's super deep, 430 kilometers deep. That plays a part in the Kurokamachaka Trench. That's a subduction zone, but way over here, but way underneath this area as well. 
Um, still watching this region. I still think it's capable of producing some uh, uh, decent earthquakes. And it's been a little while since we've seen anything major brewing on that area of that subduction zone. Uh, over here around eastern Afghanistan, seeing a 4.9 from yesterday. Uh, a look at today's model. Doesn't show too much movement out here. A uh, handful of earthquakes there across the area of the Mediterranean. One more earthquake there south of Iceland with a 4.6. Speaking of Iceland, uh, this is the last... Uh, make sure we got the most recent updated map here. Last 12 hours of earthquake activity around Iceland. Shows about 33. What's up with the 33s going on here? 333s three, three, three everywhere today. Um, not a whole lot of earthquake activity. I'm not seeing anything new showing up. The Grindavik area, uh, only a handful of smaller quakes around the area. Um, and really, it just it doesn't look like we've seen any change over here at all. Uh, and I don't believe they've put out a uh, an update yet nothing last update here was uh six days ago now so things are just uh, it's good news the longer we go on without an eruption the more likely that we won't see one uh, there across the Grindavik area uh, so that is good but no new update here at all from the icelandic met office uh let's see what else we got going on look at southern california still lighting up a little bit out here 1.6 and 1.2 and just keep an eye on this area definitely showing some movement out here in the west coast in the last hour or so uh let's see hawaii anything different going on out here well there's that one earthquake from yesterday uh, 3.1 kind of an odd one near mauna kea but this is underneath the area and generally these earthquakes at that depth are indicative of the stress among the pacific plate Due to the Hawaii Islands out here, it kind of um, warps and bends the areas underneath, uh, creating some of that earthquake activity. But as far as Kilauea Volcano goes, I'm really not seeing anything showing up there. And uh, we'll just go ahead and check out the latest information statement here, which was put out today. The volcano, uh, Kilauea Volcano on the Big Island, is not erupting. Uh, slightly elevated seismicity continues in the summit region, and it's just the same thing. Um... Nothing new to report there. Uh, let's check out the inflation or deflation event that's going on right now across the area of Kilauea Volcano. <clears throat> we'll see here. There we go. Got to get this thing working here. 333. Three, three. What's up with that? I know there's a lot of meanings in numbers, right? But 333 three, three has been popping up like crazy. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, any significance with that 333 number. I know it's got a little significance in my life, but it seems like around 333 in the morning, my stream goes down, and it has done that in the past. All right, tilt meter. Uh, a little bit of deflation overnight, it looks like, but we haven't dropped off completely. It's very possible we'll continue to see this uh, rise back up. Looks like we've le leveled out slightly here. This should continue to go up slightly. Um, with the previous trends that we've seen here, it just kind of makes sense, but we'll see how it plays out. As uh, far as any uh, webcams go here across the area, of course, there's going to be volcanic gases. This is just a little uh, rim area of the lava lake area of Kilauea Summit, Kilauea Volcano. Uh, really nothing new to report across this area. Look at uh, one of the rift zones out there. It looks pretty quiet. Continue to watch it and see uh, how it plays out. It's just one of those things. It's just a waiting game. All right, uh, solar flare activity here. Looks like we got a little bit of flaring going on from uh, a couple of these sunspots here, but really nothing major. I'm not seeing anything standing out. Uh, 3513 has been a, uh, a sunspot region of, of uh, potential, but that has completely split and diminished. Uh, now it looks like uh, this other region down south here has kind of took over and uh, looks like that's got the most potential for some flaring. A couple newer sunspots around the bend, but uh, really there's not a huge threat at all for flaring. 75% chance for a C flare, M flare, 25% chance X flare has been uh, downgraded to about 5% chance or so. Uh, yeah, 
nothing major going on in the Aurora as far as the uh, forecast goes. And it doesn't look like anything's changed here on the three-day geomagnetic forecast. Uh, a look at the severe weather potential today. Well, there's not a whole lot. Uh, no severe thunderstorms forecasted. Just a small area of thunderstorm development possible here across uh, western Texas and New Mexico, it looks like, over the next couple days. A uh, numerical model run still shows the West Coast getting hit uh, with a few storms as we head into um, next week. Look at this storm system. Well, there's obviously a lot of rain down here across Florida. They get it a lot. Uh, but out here, I'm more concerned with the West Coast because we need it. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, got a low pressure system bringing in some some rainfall uh, to the entire state of California, it looks like, here about Saturday into Sunday. And it looks to be a pattern of wet weather uh, sticking around for the California area. In fact, if we run the 20 or the uh, total accumulated precipitation mounts out here until, well, until the, the models end here, you can see California is going to get hit pretty nicely out here with some rainfall. Uh, talking about maybe up around five inches of rainfall here where I live. That's pretty decent uh, and more along the coast range and of course higher elevation seen a lot more and maybe some potentially some snow up there as well in the Sierra Nevada mountains uh, but this is good news and I think this pattern is going to stick around for a while I'm hopeful that this El Nino year this El Nino pattern that we're in uh, will strengthen these storms and give us uh, some much needed and uh, some beneficial rainfall out here in California definitely um, looking forward to that all right folks I'm out of here I got a fairly eventful day uh finals week it's finals week here um in the college where i'm at and i uh, got to get a bunch of stuff done and uh and then after that a little break before the spring semester starts up there in january so have a good one enjoy your tuesday and stay safe out there keep an eye on california it is uh definitely showing a little bit of lighting up here in the last hour or so we'll chat you guys a little bit later on